Hello students, welcome you all to Shunya IAS. We are happy to announce Ruthless Rapid Revision Program for Current Affairs. You all would have studied the current affairs from various sources throughout the year. Now only 50 days are remaining for the examination. Most of the students come and say, although they have studied the topic from various sources for the current affairs, but they are confused when the questions are little twisted. What is lacking is balance. What is lacking is confidence. What is lacking is the comprehensiveness and contextual understanding of the topics. For that, one-stop solution and effective revision is ruthless rapid revision program of all the current affairs from January 2023 to April 2024. And this is very important because UPSC on very conservative side, I am saying that 30 plus questions are being asked in the prelims examination. Approximately 40-45 questions are being asked into the examination. Considering the questions in the static portion, which are interlinked with current affairs. So students, join this program for effective revision into only 5 days. And ensure your 30 questions in the examination of which you can get right answer with full confidence. Already prelims crash course have been covered, some updated lectures have been given and Shunya IS famous Samadhan magazine recommended by the toppers for comprehensive learning is there. For the contextual understanding and better recallability in the examination, this course is a sine qua non, a must course for all of you. The problem, the problem with the current affairs. In the static portion, it is very easy to consolidate and comprehend in the current affairs Students find difficulty because this is the current affairs, like a spaghetti bowl, one end and the other end. How do we interlink that? Let me explain you through the concept. UPSC does not ask any random question. There has to be a theme, majority of the questions. For example, blockchain technology, twice UPSC asked in the examination. Blockchain technology, this topic belongs to the domain of science and tech. And its evolution happened into CBDC, 2023 prelims, currency, economic development. The question has been asked by the UPSC. Now students, what is the next level of questions that can be asked in the examination? Resolving this spaghetti bowl is our objective, to be more confident in the examination. Project Mariana by Bank of International Settlements for WCBDCs. It was a pilot project. In, in 2023 itself, it was executed and successfully executed. In this line, you have to understand and resolve this spaghetti bowl. Next question could be Mika. European Union, markets and crypto assets had been there. Stable coins. What are stable coins? Collateralized coins through the blockchain technology Different kinds of cryptocurrencies emerged. When we collateralize it, it becomes stable coins. All these things we will understand and resolve this spaghetti ball of current affairs. IMF and FSB synthesis paper during G20 meet a white paper. IMF and Financial Stability Board of India talked about synthesis paper for regulation of cryptocurrencies across the borders. This is how the contextual learning will help you get better marks and proper understanding. Even if a new question is formed out of it, you can solve that question. So this is the objective to make you more confident by resolving this spaghetti bowl and organizing your current affairs in a subject wise manner. Super organized order of learning. This will simplify the subject, the topic, the current affairs and the understanding. Different subjects like environment, government schemes, international relations, science and tech, polity, governance, subject wise is there. And that too, into that subject, we have classification. For example, environment will be divided into various kinds of species, locations, protected areas. Into those things also, themes will be there. The themes which are most important for the examination, like emerging technologies they are asking in science and tech. Agriculture had been very important area. They have asked about vertical farming, hydroponics, vertical farming, hydroponics. Now they will be asking about e-soil. 
how the technology is evolving into it. We will understand the whole dynamics of different subjects, subject wise, sub classification and theme wise what are important topics. Effective learning through immersive PPTs. How our brain captures the knowledge is through photogenic memory. Recallability becomes easy. After the class, you can have access to all these PPTs and effectively revise it, re-revise the lectures through these PPTs. That will be very helpful in the examination and specifically during the short duration, 50 days. What are the components of ruthless rapid revision? What are the course components? 5 days, 6 hours of class, 30 questions. Simple fact. 30 plus questions. Coverage will be comprehensive coverage, 360 degree coverage. All the topics will be discussed in detail. It will be dif discussed different perspectives. It will be interlinked, not just perspectives. For example, art and culture. Chaucet Yogini Temple had been asked by the UPSC. On the lines of previous year, questions will be discussing the current affairs. It has been asked in current affairs. Now, new parliament building has been there. They will be asking about from where the carpets have been brought, the weavers of Bhadoi. What is the theme of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha? What new changes have been done over there? Okay, comprehensive 360 degree learning into the class. Previous year questions of current affairs, past 10 years PYQ will be live solved in the question so that it acts as a beckoning light for you in giving importance to the topics. That is how our high yielding topics will be discussed. Interlinkages of current affairs and static portion. Many a times what happens in the polity section, in the economic development section, certain concepts they ask in the static portion, but related to that news items are there in the current affairs. So I will be discussing with you in detail that these are the topics into current affairs and these possible questions can be asked in the static portion. I hope you understand. Test series questions, various test series questions, the high yielding topics across the test series, okay, have been collected. For example, various kinds of terms in news, terminologies in news, some phenomena in news, the pet question of UPSC often seen in news. Comprehensively, we will discuss that. Places in news will be very well classified in terms of environmental places, international relation places and the places where some kinds of crisis happened. Live MCQ solving into the class. As soon as the class ends, you will get some questions to live solve in the class with me so that you can understand that how to think in such questions. Develop the knack of resolving the MCQ. That will help you, that will boost your confidence even in the examination hall. Just after studying the topic, if questions are asked, how students are picking up different, different options over there. Course schedule. The course will commence on 3rd May. 3rd May, we will discuss polity and governance. It will be classified in four different heads. Important acts, amendments, important judgments, important bodies in the news and miscellaneous topics related to polity we will discuss. 4th May, economic development, interim budget, economic survey. Guys, interim budget is very important. The trends related to that is very important. This time, economic survey was not there. Economic review was there. Therefore, important government schemes coming out of the budget that we'll, we'll be also discussing. Fifth May, government schemes will classify as flagship schemes, latest launch schemes, reports and indices, and international relations. Sixth May, science and technology, defense and health. Seventh May, we'll be discussing Environment, art and culture. Environment and art and culture. So it's the comprehensive thing from where the most of the questions are being asked. So definitely join this course and thank you. Let's see you in the class. Thank you students.